Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. Continuing with our obstacle topic, we are in the, our fourth obstacle. So let's see what this obstacle is all about. It is called two times. Uh, and what we have to do is we have to create an automation test step where it can click on this button two times in a row. So when you click on this particular button, first time it is click me two X and the second time it changes to click me once more. Okay. And when you click on this again, then uh, this particular obstacle is completed. So that's what we need to do. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now let's create a module for this particular control. So let's scan this application and uh, record these modules. So let's go ahead and go to the scan application and then scan this application and let's have a look at this particular control okay so here what you can see is this particular control is unique okay so it is tosca is able to identify this using the different properties and the two properties which it is taking is the ID here, okay? And the tag, which is A, and here it is RND underscore some random number. Now, uh, let's go ahead and click. So we are not going to save this, okay? Because I want to show you what happens when we click on this once. And then now, if we go ahead and scan this again, Okay, and now if we uh, go ahead and select this particular control, this time also it is unique uh, because it is also able to identify using the properties, but you will see that uh, the ID, right, has changed. So it's a different ID for this particular control now. So once we click on this, the later part of, or the numerical part of the ID is changing for the same control. So we need to handle that in our modules, right? And the way we can do this is using regular expression uh, so that we can handle this dynamic part of the ID, right? So what we can do simply here is uh, we can put a star which stands for a regular expression for one or more occurrences, right? So any numerical digits uh, would be handled by this regular expression no matter if it changes, right, or it remains same, it will work both ways. So uh, this, uh, we can do the ID, we can change that, right? And now uh, it doesn't matter if the ID changes, uh, it should still work. So let's go ahead and save this module now. And uh, we are going to come here and we are going to rename this module first, okay? And then we are going to create a test case so that we can see how it works, right? So let's go ahead and create a test case here. I'm going to rename this again. And then we are going to drag this particular module here and we are going to click on this. So again, we'll use the X value here and we are going to name this step okay so click once and then again we are going to drag this module another time because we have to click it two times right so we are going to rename this step again click twice okay and then we are going to click on this particular control okay so ideally it should click uh, two times, even though the ID is changing because of our regular expression in the module properties. Okay, so I will change the work state to completed. And then on the application, I need to go back to the initial state, right? So come back to the screen where it shows click me to X, okay? So now I'm going to execute this test case and see if it still works. 
Okay, so yeah, as you can see, uh, it was able to click the link two times and uh, the obstacle was completed. So using regular expressions in your module properties, you can um, handle dynamic elements which have got properties which are changing dynamically. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.